this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Aaron West from Elzra, looking at Catacombs Conquest, which is modeled as an introductory version to Catacombs. I believe that was the point. Yes. Yeah, sort that, of lower price point, correct. fewer components, much smaller box. That's right. Uh, but we're still flicking things at each other. We're, we're still flicking things at each other. People which are seem, us. Pe yes. People seem to enjoy doing that. <laughs> Let's, let's give them another way to do it. Let's give them another way to do it. Okay, so what's different this time are we doing here? We, we don't have a lot of landscape. No, 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 okay. no, we don't. So we, we still wanted to incorporate our wall system okay. because we think it's critical to have a defined play area. Okay. And that play area is big enough such that you will be able to use, again, a rubber mat that you could buy separately, right. which is, as you can probably imagine, difficult to fit into a small box. Right. I mean, we don't have any magic tricks yet that enable us to fit mats That's into right. this small size without ruining them. If this came with a portable hole, it would be worth, it would cost way more than, well, it, than what it says here. It, yeah. it, it, exactly. Yes. So, anyway, we said, okay, well, let's have it where people can use their own surface, and we tested it on a number of different ones. Um, and it all seems to work okay. I can flick my discs and do that thing. And um, the, the key thing is that we wanted to simplify the system without losing the elements that people really enjoy. Okay. And this, this game can be summarized very simply that you're playing cards and as a result of playing a chosen, your chosen card you execute the that sequence that would that would be on that card. So here's okay. an example of a card. Um, so this is this is uh, this is Victoria, and she's on the sword team. Okay. We also have. That's right. So we should just pull up here. We've got two decks. That's correct. On here, yeah. and I guess we're going to divide up into two teams with different players. That that that's right. And we've got our vampire lord there. Uh, he's on the skull team, and so if I've got my got my deck of cards and I've got my hand here, I can see here that I've got these different options about what I can do. Okay. Okay. Got some choices here. That, that's right. So these cards all have um, our familiar uh, dexterity icons on them uh, for moving around and shooting range discs. Mm -hmm. They also have some hand management type uh, constructs as well that you can do after you've completed that sequence. And some of the characters uh, have uh, an armor icon on them such that I can keep them once I've played them instead of it just going to a discard pile. So I can use it as a way of preventing uh, damage uh, to my team. And I've got my collective uh, health pools. These are the Catacombs and Castles tokens, but we're just using them as a, as a stand-in. Right. We give you a number of these in the box. And again, you're looking to eliminate your your opponent's uh, health by um, by successfully executing these okay. attacks. What is not shown here is that we have these uh, five obstacle discs that are the same size as the ones from Catacombs Third Edition. Okay. And so you're you're drawing a card, you're playing a card, you've completed your uh, uh, de dexterity. Um, actions, and then you get to move the obstacles around. So again, in Catacombs 3rd Edition, the the obstacles are fixed into the game board. In Catacombs and Castles, they're dynamic in the sense that they are, they complement the board, but can move around each right. time you play. In but this they're fixed during the game. Correct. It's just a variable setup. And now here we have something that actually is going to change. They're like animals moving around the field or something. That's exactly. They put stand behind the cow. Yeah, right. exactly. So if you had your, your cow obstacle on the board, for example, <laughs> you would be able to hopefully entice him to move and maybe frustrate uh, the, the, the plans of your okay. opponent. And those are also determined by card options, or that's separate? From no, the, the no, card that's you, you, you always get to do that. Okay. So you always get to take a, one rush shot, as we would say, uh, with one of the obstacles that are on, okay. um, that are on the board there. Okay. okay. So you always get to do that, and uh, that adds a lot of strategic possibilities because not only can you potentially protect uh, your teammate, but you can also disrupt what it is that uh, your opponent's going to do. 
Because unlike Catacombs 3rd Edition and Catacombs and Castles, in this game, the order of when a character takes an action is fixed. So there, we have a turn marker that indicates that a, um, a particular character has completed its turn, and now the other character on that team must take a turn. So it prevents this idea of people just using the one character disc and keeping the other one, say, hidden, right. hidden, in, hidden in the back. Okay. So you have to use both of your uh, character discs you effectively. Think, think a lot more along the lines of billiards where you're talking about blocking the other player, where you're trying to set up That's, the obstacles into them to force them to make bad shots. That's the whole... Yeah. yeah, that's okay. that, that's the yeah. premise behind it. Okay. So, uh, and so the uh, in an emergent way, the game plays very differently when you right. have that type of dynamic kind of battlefield. So okay. it, uh, uh, you know, we, we actually, uh, to be honest with you, although it's it's simplified, um, it's actually a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. With the interesting element too, where you're not even sure what the other player can do. Well, that's exactly you correct. Know. You don't know what's in his hand. Okay. Now the two teams are balanced in yes. the base set so that you know that they're ultimately going to have the same cards as you mm -hmm. uh, in terms of what what those cards permit them uh, to, to perform in terms of those actions however in the future we anticipate that there could be some some different cards right. for the different teams or a separate team entirely because well that, that's exactly yeah. yeah that's right could even be a completely separate team that's okay exactly right all right here you go. Overview of Catacombs Conquest. More great art from Quan Chai. That's correct, yep. Let's see. Thanks very much, Aaron. Cheers. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.